Lori Hannon over in St. Clair, Michigan, checking out the action on the, I don't know where that is. Is that uh, the St. Clair River going into the lake or, or what? But anyway, the point of bringing this up, issues out on the big lakes on the east side later today. We have a lakeshore flood advisory for all of our east side counties. Concern here for the winds at 4 p.m. and later to really start cranking up from the southeast. So it's almost like you take a, a tub of water and tilt it. It's going to bring an elevated water level to our east side counties, Gibraltar up through parts of Northern Wayne County, the Gross Point, St. Clair Shores, and then also parts of Macomb County from Lake St. Clair and Lake Huron affecting St. Clair and Sanilac counties. Three to six foot waves, also a possibility. The winds really aren't a big problem now, but they become that way and then they're just sort of relentless, creating those issues out on the water. We have upper 70s and low 80s, south southeast winds 5 to 15. Couple of showers out there for live radar and lightning tracker is on. Don't have that in Oakland County right now. And I think most of the rest of the afternoon on the drier side, just a few spotty showers, low 80s feeling more like 90 with the humidity and storms really increase or at least the chances do as we head through the evening hours and tonight, even under a threat for severe weather. It's a weak threat, but there could be some damaging wind and can't rule out a tornado in the area as well. The elements are there as we uh, take a look, just not real strong and certainly not a huge outbreak expected. The models are pretty consistent in keeping a lot of the rain across southwestern and western lower, but we'll have to keep a close eye on it as wherever the center of that Alberto moisture ends up could certainly get in the neighborhood of one to two inches, but looks like most of that will be east. Still, your evening plans a little in jeopardy with thunder and lightning. Tomorrow, a spotty shower or two, but it's going to be warm and muggy once again. Friday, we get a front that breaks the action and Everett a great looking weekend.